Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you. Um, it is a, another haul, uh, Oddities haul. I went to the Oddities market again. Um, my last video that I showed my Oddities and stuff that I bought did pretty good. So I said, why not do it again? I have been back to that Oddities market three times now. <laughs> so this haul is going to be a bit bigger. It's, they have a market every month, so just so you know <laughs> i didn't buy all these at once and even if i did whatever um but yeah so like i said in the last haul there are vintage items there are uh, modern items there is a butt ton of art this time um and just stuff like that there's a few things i'm not even sure if i can show you um but i'll explain when i get to them <laughs> so first i'm gonna go into oh did I get lighter? I feel like, did the camera get lighter? Am I too bright? Am I too bright? Ooh, I don't want to go too dark. Is that a little better? Is that too dark? I don't want to go too dark or too bright. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna stay there. I think that's a good amount. Uma, if you hear crinkling, my cat is playing in a bag. So I'm just gonna let her keep playing. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get into the haul. Um, so first things I'm going to show you are more the art that I that we purchased. And I say we because one of the art items I am going to show you, um, it, Harrison bought for himself. So let's get into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what Harrison bought first, his art piece that he got. Um, it is orig original art. And it, it's still in this little plastic um thing so sorry for the little glare but it is original art um and it's of makima and putita it's from chainsaw man um it's a popular anime that kind of came out if you don't know or not into anime and stuff like that um so we watched the anime first and we just we really liked it and so we're like oh we need to read the manga so we both have read the manga well it's still ongoing but uh he is caught up and you know reads it every every time it comes out i have not caught up yet but i have finished the whole first arc um so yeah but this is what he got and yeah and then i thought i would throw this in here this isn't from the oddities market it was when we went to um i forgot <laughs> they had like an anime event at carbock and i bought art for myself from the same anime slash manga chainsaw man but this time i did not get makima or puchita i got chainsaw man <laughs> so i just really liked it um it's one of those like paint on the glass kind of paintings um but i just really liked it i thought it was really good and i just liked the like blood splat that she did on it and then the little signature and the kind of like um frame is very fitting too so I don't know. I just really liked it. So this is my little piece, my chin soul. I love it a lot. <laughs> also, one of the markets you we went to, they do it every now and then. They don't do it every market, but every now and then they'll have, oh, like the first 50 people or first however many people who show up at the market get like a free something. I went one time, I don't know if I showed you last time, but the last time I got something um, well, I guess the first time I got something free, it was a, just a little tote bag here. It says the Macabre Market, because that's the, the name of the, the auditor's market. It's Macabre Market. Um, and I just thought it was really nice. I like the, like, cathedral-esque window, window, you know, kind of vibe got going on. And it glows in the dark. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then this more recent time, I got buttons or pins or whatever um if you know me you know i love pins and buttons so i was like good with this one these have yet to be put anywhere so i could show y'all so it is original art that they put into pin form which i thought is really cool and i, I really like that they're flyers to advertise every month for the market that month they get a different artist to do the flyers and they always look incredible so 
just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Next, I also got some stickers. They are in my sticker book. Uh, some of them are not because they're quite big. So I'm going to show you the stickers I got. Um, my sticker book has gotten kind of full. Um, I still have plenty of pages left, but it has gotten full. I'm going to show you my favorite page in my sticker book. <laughs> It's all Persephone. I've got a bunch of um, Laura Olympus stickers from my best friend. So one of the stickers I got was this one. And if you know the artist, then you know. Um, I always like this. I've always liked that art for some reason. Um, and I someone was selling it in sticker form. And so I had to buy the sticker of it. And then I got a bunch of like little free stickers from somebody because I bought from them. Um, which it's in the hall, right? And it was like 20 bucks or no, it was like, how much was it? I think it was like 15 or 17 or something like that. And all I had was a $20 bill. So I was like, here's 20, just take the 20. That's fine. Um, and he was like, here, go, go. Cause he had like a whole thing of stickers and he's like, go pick out like five or six stickers. And yeah, I was like, oh, cool. I love stickers. So I went and got me like five or six stickers. Um, also from the guy that uh, made the Makima and Puchita art, I bought some stickers from him. So we've got Power, and I forget her name. Um, I am caught up, I'm not caught up, but I am on like, this section. If you know, you know. Yes, I got that. That was one of the free ones. <laughs> Bakugo. Um, I also got this one down here. This disrespects your surroundings. Um, if you know that song and it was a cat and of course, you know, I had to, um, I just want to talk about this one real quick. I went to the tattoo convention in June, um, and Holly was there. And if you don't know who Holly is, she was on Ink Master. And so I had already gotten a tattoo and you know, she's freaking popular. So I just bought a sticker and yeah, <laughs> got to meet her. So it was kind of cool. Um, I also got these two stickers this one was i will slay you i just love you know i love black cats i have a black cat so i love black cat stuff and then this one that says existence is pain <laughs> um i also got this was one of the free stickers <laughs> this was also another free sticker I've got a Makima sticker that was from the same artist that did the Makima and Puchita. Um, I got a sticker from him. It's, you see his little hollow one. And then we've got Chainsaw Man and uh, the shark dude down there. Those are, and these feel really nice. Um, like they could go on your car really nice. And then these were the two art pieces. She had them for sale actually, like her original art and they were like big like on frames and what the th her art is so freaking cool um she didn't have a sticker of my favorite piece and it's like not only is it just like paintings but it's like cut like she painted and then cut it out or she has just other random cutouts she it's like grid like things are cut out and like assembled together and also painted and there was like there's just like a bunch of elements to it and it's very textured and i just find that really cool and interesting and there's one piece that if I had the money for it I, I probably would buy it um, I wish that she had a sticker so I could at least show you that um, yeah I re just really liked it and I wish I had not only the money well it wasn't that expensive I also just don't have the place to put it in, put it I also just don't have a place to put it because it is quite a big art piece but I just absolutely love it and then these were the other two stickers that I loved um, I really like this one I think that one's cool. So that is everything new in the sticker book that I got um, from that same girl. She had another art piece I wanted to show you, not to get into the jewelry neck, or to get into the jewelry next, I guess, but I'm gonna show you the other, I have more stickers. Um, the same artist who did uh, the ones I just showed you with the texture, she also had an art piece like this with the like joined twins. Um, I just thought it was really cool. I didn't want to buy another sticker and she had necklaces of these. These were the only necklaces she was selling. So I decided to get myself a necklace instead. Instead of another sticker. 
and to the big stickers so these are ones that are more more than likely go in your car well they do go in your car i shouldn't say more than likely you can put stickers anywhere you want but i'm sure these aren't meant for your car and some of them will be going in my car so of course we got a makima one it's just in our head you put it by your window so you're like mm -hmm. So we got Makima. Oh, this is his card, by the way, for these stickers. I like to show them. I really wish I got a card from that other girl. I follow most of the people I buy from on Instagram. So if you really are curious, hit me up on Instagram and I will like send you their Instagram <laughs> because yeah, or I just go through my Instagram and find them. Although that's probably a, um, Instagram in the link in my bio if you want that. Um, and then to go with Makima, I got Dingy, um, who is Chainsaw Man. <laughs> so there's Dingy. And then I don't think I got anyone else from that universe. I thought I had got a power, but I guess I didn't. Uh, and then next I got um, a Hisoka. I love a Hisoka. And I like that his hair is like shiny. This one is probably going on the car. <laughs> um, and then I got an Aizawa from... Ooh, that looks funny. I go like this. Uh, I got an Aizawa who is from um, My Hero Academia. He's one of my favorite characters. So, got an Aizawa. Um, and then last of these big stickers, the biggest one out of all of them, I got Jinx. Uh, I just thought she looked really cool. And yeah, got jinx. So that is all of the stickers. Going back to art, I don't really know how much I can show you because it is um, art revolving around fetish culture. Um, so it's a little risque. <laughs> I know two of these, I, I know I just cannot show you. Um, and I'll explain. So the first one that I, I feel like I can show you is, again, fetish. It's latex, and it's like these two ladies, or these two people who, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. I just, I really liked it. <laughs> um, I appreciate fetish culture. These have nothing to reflect on me and anything I you know, in my personal life that I want or like or whatever, but I do appreciate fetish culture a lot and it, it is um, inspiring. And I know that's hard for some people to wrap around their heads, um, but things I find very inspiring are like suspension artists and um, like <laughs> things about facing your fear. Like a big fear of mine is needles. And so I appreciate the people who can do like needle play and stuff like that and do like art with it. It doesn't have to be anything sexual. Um, I, I could get into a whole conversation about uh, fetish culture and just things that are obscure to help just people heal in certain ways. And like, I know this one girl who does needle play and she was scared of needles um, and she's pretty much gotten over her fear. And whatever so the first one I'm gonna show you is really not that bad I am gonna have to cover some things but it is bondage um, and yeah that's, that's it it is shibari and yeah that's it I, I find it very beautiful I talked with the lady selling it and selling these and they are original I mean obviously they're original but you know they do these photo shoots and the guy they said the photographer is really nice and on the back of them it gives the photographer and the rigger um also he i believe he does both um we get a free sticker on the back of each of them so i thought that was pretty cool there's his instagram handle um the next two i can't show you um like at all <laughs> They are needle play, and there is one of them has a lot of blood, and I just I just can't show that on my channel. And the other one is um, also a lot of blood, and 
things that I also just can't show on my channel. So there's things I can't show on my channel. But like I said, we also got a free sticker. And uh, he signed these. He signed these two. Yeah. Oh, this one's a, a different sticker. Got a different sticker. And yeah, he signed these. He didn't sign this one. Oh, unless it's behind the black. Or no, that's where the picture is. I don't know. I guess not. He didn't sign those. He didn't sign this one, but he signed these two, which I think is cool. Um, but yeah, I just find it, some people think it's morbid. I mean, it's whatever. I go to the macaw market, I have bones and stuff. I'm, I'm over people thinking I'm weird. I know I'm weird. Um, but yeah, I just saw these and I just, it just really drew my eye. The ones I can't show you are the ones I like the most. Um, and yeah, it just really drew my attention and we had a short little conversation. It was nice. All right, so that is all my art. I have all my paper art. I do have another art that I can. Might be a little questionable to show, but it is art, it's nothing real. I got, I did a commission from, um, her name is Tara Hugs, I think, on Instagram. I think that's just her name too. Wait, I think it's on the back. Yeah, it's on the back, <laughs> Tara Hugs. Um, I got a commission piece from her. She does a lot of vaginas. Um, and I decided to get one. I don't know how much of this I can show. She's also the same artist who did the brain. The blackest black paint on the brain with the neon frame. Well, she used the same paint for the vagina and outlined it in gold. And then I asked it to be on its period. So, because I haven't seen one and I thought it was cool. So she did that. And I think that's really cool. I like how it goes past the frame and then it's got a nice solid frame. So yeah, I like it. Um, it's just art, so I think I can show you. So I just showed you real quick. <laughs> you know, I don't want to get too messed up. Get a little sticky territory right here. Um, I think that's it for everything that's a bit questionable <laughs> to show you. Um, and next is another art piece that I got from her also. And it's because I bought that. I was just looking around and she was like, oh. I picked it up and was like, oh, this is cool. She's like, gave me a discount. She was like, if you want it, you can have it for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, <laughs> I'll take it. So it is really, it, let me know if you get it. This is a silver platter. It is a vintage um, silver plate um, and she put a heart on it. So it's like, put my heart on a silver platter kind of thing. Um, I thought it was cool. <laughs> I don't know how to go about it, but I wanna hang it and I don't know how to put, I don't know if I should put something on it, but I think it'd look cool. Oh, I don't know. I think it would look cool if it was like hanging. I also, kind of want to repaint it it's blue with like sparkles right and I kind of want to paint it red and make it look a bit gory um but I also don't want to mess with somebody's art at the same time but I also kind of want it to fit my art vibes a lot of my art kind of have a red right is red <laughs> if I'm being honest because yeah and so like sparkly blue is like a little out of place. Not that that really matters, but I just think it would look really cool if I kind of redid it a little bit. Let me know, is that a bad thing? Should I just, you know, not mess with somebody's art and leave it or make it my own? I did buy it, it's mine now. I don't know, let me, let me know what you think about it. Oh, I said that was it for the like risque kind of things. I do have one more piece um, that I got. It is in a vintage like book frame. And I just thought that was really cool. And it is, it's not original or anything, but it is some fetish photography, some vintage fetish photography. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to jewelry. Um, the first piece I showed you was the art piece. The next piece I got was this, and it is just an opal, um, opalite, is that what it's called? Necklace, and it's just like a, you know, woman's body and like some wire to mimic some shibari or something like that but i just thought it was really pretty and yeah the next necklace i got was this one and it's just a little glass jar with a cocoon in it and so i was looking at this woman's booth and she explained to me what these were um she apparently raises monarch butterflies and other butterflies out as well but mainly a focus towards towards uh, monarch butterflies. And apparently this is a monarch cocoon. 
So once the butterfly has broken out of its cocoon, cocoon and, you know, is a butterfly and goes on with its life, she collects her cocoons and makes them into jewelry and sells them. And all the profits that she makes with these necklaces and jewelries from these butterflies goes back into helping, um, you know, helping these butterflies, buying them milkweed and whatever butterflies need to survive. <laughs> um, so I just thought that was really cool. And after she told me the story about it and like what they are and what, you know, why she does it and what the money goes to, it was like, well, I have to buy one now. <laughs> and I just thought it was really cool. So I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a little butterfly cocoon. And I thought that was really cool. The last necklace I got is a bone. It is this. It is a tooth. I thought it was really cool. It, any guesses on what kind of what tooth it is? It's not a human tooth. Someone asked me at work the other day. And they're like, is that a human tooth? No, it is not a human tooth. Um, um, but it is a raccoon tooth. And, you know, I love raccoons. I have a raccoon baculum, uh, which is their penile bone. And so now I have a tooth of a raccoon. And I actually really like this necklace. I feel like it's kind of minimal and I just I don't know I like it although I'm not a minimalist by any means but um I just really like it I feel like it's kind of dainty and yeah it's a raccoon tooth uh, moving on to earrings I only have two pairs of earrings the first ones are these spiderweb earrings I thought were super super cute it's like I don't know what this is called it's like I don't it's not crochet or knit or whatever because it's so tiny unless it is I don't know I don't do any of those things so I wouldn't know um, but yeah, I just thought they were so pretty and I had to get a pair. So these are the little spider earrings I got. Um, yeah, they're super cool. Can't wait. I mean, I've already wor worn them, but Halloween outfits and stuff, some like spider inspired outfit, I think it'll look cool. All right. Now the last thing for jewelry, which is probably my favorite thing I gotten jewelry wise. No, the raccoon is the raccoon tooth is my favorite thing. Um, <laughs> second favorite thing I've gotten jewelry wise, I've seen these e earrings the past three times I've gone to the market, and every time I see them, I'm like, "Gosh, those are pretty. I want those," um, but just couldn't justify buying them just yet. And I finally did. I don't know what bones they are. She, I don't know. She told me actually. <laughs> I just don't remember. But these are the earrings. I absolutely love them. Again, these are like an opal, opal, opalite stones and some type of vertebrae or something. I don't know what animal this is from, but I just really like these earrings a lot. So there's that. The next thing I got was a pair of sunglasses. These right here, I love them. They're, I love cat eye glasses. So these have like a little bit of a cat eye and then they got little spider webs on the end of the cat eyes. They're really good sun protection. Like these go pretty dark. It's a little hard for me to see right now if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of sunglasses and my favorite pair of sunglasses have like scratches right in the middle of the lenses so it's really hard for me to even like see out of them because it's like so scratched up so I needed a pair of new sunglasses and I saw these and I just thought they were cute so these are the sunglasses I bought um and they've got like this blue on the side it's kind of like iridescent in a way I don't know if you can does it pick up on camera that it's like iridescent -y and like a little shimmery I don't know if it really picks up on camera or if it's just one print the next thing I bought was this, which is a thigh band. And I mainly got it so that whenever I have my garb on for the Renaissance Festival, a lot of times my skirt on the side, I'll like hike it up and put it in my skirt hike, purely for aesthetics and whatever. And so I just was like, oh, why don't get this? Put this on that leg where I hike my skirt up and it's just a little peekaboo like you know, just like, I don't know. Uh, I've wanted one of these. I've just never bought any because I have big thighs <laughs> and they don't fit me. But this seller, I thought was pretty cool. It's like, you've got your like leather piece, right? And then you've got like little buttons here. He sells different sizes of like elastic. And so, 
<laughs> I bought the biggest size of elastic because uh, your girl's got big thighs. Um, but yeah, no, I just thought that was really nice. And I was like, I can finally wear these on my thighs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I got excited and had to buy them. Mystery bags, I also forgot to mention. I got two shirts. Um, I've worn them and they're in the, the dirty clothes and I'm not going to pull them out to show you. But I'll put a picture up here of the one I got in the blind bag. Um, it doesn't exactly look like this. They don't have the one I got, they don't have on their website. All they have is this one, which is black with white writing. The one I got was a white shirt with black writing and then like the neckline and then like on the sleeves are black. And I, I just think it's really cute. So I was excited about that. I like most of their shirts. There was only one shirt I do not like and it's because it was like a bright pink and I was like, oh, imagine my luck if that's the one I got out of all these shirts. Luckily, I did not get that. Um, I got this shirt. So I was happy with that. The next shirt I got was this one. This art was from an artist in the 70s. Uh, oh, I don't remember. Um, I'm sure it's down here in the picture. I'll leave it at the bottom. Um, but yeah, it, he did like a whole Zodiac series. And of course I got Gemini because I am a Gemini. Uh, but yes, this shirt is really cute. So moving on to more oddities. First, I'm gonna show you some things I got from Memory Hole Vintage. Um, I've talked about him I've talked about him before many times, um, even in the last um, Oddities haul. I really like this guy's stuff and when he live sells, I've said this before. Um, and so I'm just going to show you some pieces I got from from his live sale. I didn't get these all in the same live sale. I got them in separate live sales, but yeah. So the first thing I got was this barbershop bottle. I don't really know what it is. In the live, he was selling um, a witch hazel bottle and I showed up too late in the live and I asked him if the witch hazel bottle had sold yet or if he had yet to put up for bidding. And he said it already sold, but I have some other bottles or whatever. So he was showing me some bottles. He called it a barbershop bottle. So that's just kind of what I'm calling it. But it was witch hazel-esque and I just really like it. I don't know what kind of glass this is. I'm not a glass person. I don't know if it's custard glass. I don't know if it's milk glass. I don't. Like, it doesn't look like milk glass. It's too, like, transparent, I feel like. I don't know what kind of glass it is. If, you're, if you know about these things, let me know, because I have, I have no clue. Um, I tried to see if it glue, because it looked like it could glow under black light. Um, it does not glow either. <laughs> so I don't know, but I, I do like the shape of it, and I just thought it was cool. Right now it has a dead rose in it, because I keep dead flowers, because I can't keep anything alive. <laughs> I can't keep plants alive, I should say. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the first thing I got from him. Next thing I got that I find very freaking interesting, um, I got a bunch of funeral records. Um, they're vintage funeral records, and uh, it's it was so interesting when I first got them, and just started reading through them and it's just, I don't know, I find it really cool. Still trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to display them, but I just think it's really cool. Like I'll read you the first one. The first one is Ernest Einstein, date of death was June 16th, uh, 1953, he was born December 1886. Um, he was born in Germany. It gives you like his street address, his husband, her, oh, I guess this is a woman. Oh no, no. This is a man. Um, they give them their spouse's name, um, their father's name, their occupation was a salesman, uh, the cause of death was cardiac occlusion, um, and then there's a casket description that says, this one just says flat top, some of them have a lot more stuff. <laughs> and then on the back is like their bill. And so total here was $437. Um, it's just, these were so interesting. There are uh, two, two babies that are in here, sadly. Um, one was, it says on here was like stillborn. Um, and one was like lasted a day. They had died the next day. It's so sad. This one has like an old rubber band stuck to the back. This one says Mary Young. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to sit here and read it all. Um, let me know if you are interested and I can do like a read along and just kind of read out all of these. Cause I think that's really cool. Cause I found it very interesting. Um, and the fact that these are still 
here you know and haven't been destroyed or thrown away i think it's really cool so and they're in pretty good condition you know given how old they are but yeah so i got 20 well or no i got 10 of these and he sent me a few extra so i have about 23 of them i think um so yeah probably one of my favorite things i've bought from him i have to admit well until i move on to the next thing oh i also forgot um the people from the last Audi's haul that I bought the test tube thing for your flowers, I went back to them again because they were there again. They're not there very often. Um, they were finally there one day and I just have to go and support them because those are my people. I bought another um, possum pin from them. It's already on a bag. I don't even remember what it says. Um, and then I bought this. It's a little air freshener with some like stones in it this one has obsidian stones in it and so i was like oh obsidian that's gonna look so cute on my car just the black i don't know whatever i did not realize they had the scent because they had the name of the stones inside on because they had a paper hanging on i didn't know on the back it said the scent i was just like oh i'll be fine with whatever scent i should not do that because i'm allergic to lavender <laughs> and your girl picked up a lavender one <laughs> so i can't really open this up in my car but it I don't know I might give it to somebody but I do think it's still kind of pretty so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but uh, yeah I can't uh, use it for its intended purpose because it's gonna make my head explode <laughs> so that was a fail on my part so next time I see them I'm gonna have to buy another one and pay attention to the sense this time the next thing I'm gonna show you that I got from memory hall vintage I've it's probably my one of some of my favorite things I've bought as well some vintage medicines bo medicine bottles. I bought three. Here's two. So here's the first one. These two are the little ones. And then I bought one bigger one. And Camphor. Um, as he was selling them, he was telling us what all of these drugs were and what they were used for. Um, I don't remember. So go ahead and Google if you're curious. Because I don't remember. But uh, I love them as always. This one has like some blue residue in it um i love when things come crusty and like not clean and like still have some because i still have i have some medicine bottles that still have some medicine in it and i would love to not that i'm ever going to use the medicine that's a, a, a absolutely not um but i love when they still have medicine in, in it i think it just looks cool and so yeah here's this one this one has a skinnier top and there's that and then the next one this one has a, a wider neck and a bigger top. And this one is guac carbon. <laughs> so yeah. And this is what this one looks like. And I just love medicine bottles. Um, I just think they're aesthetic and cool and you can use them for things still. I see people putting like oddities and stuff in here. Um, but yeah. And then the last bottle, which is the biggest bottle, it's this one. I absolutely love this one. I like the label on this one too. Um, this one is still, this one's probably the best looking label out of all of them. And it says Elixir Turpenhide, I don't know, et codeine. So it's codeine, so it's probably just, I don't know, cough syrup maybe. I don't know. I don't know what all these mean. Um... But yes, this is the big one, and here is the stopper. This one obviously is my favorite. I love this one. I love this one a lot. I don't know why this brings me so much joy. Jo joy? I don't know why this one brings me so much joy. I just love the bottles. I love the bottles. And the last thing I got from Memory Hole Vintage that I actually bought on accident, but I'm not upset about it. I kind of like it. <laughs> I got a taxidermy piranha. Look at that. Look at this guy. You see right through him. Look at him. I need to start putting doing polls on here as well. But I did a poll on my Instagram trying to name him. Because uh, he has to have a name. I gave him an Australian accent. And one of the names I liked was Sashimi. But um, that's a no-go. Because that's some character that we did think about. Um, his name was going to be Sashimi Dorolo, but then I was like, wait, there's already a Sashimi Dorolo, so we couldn't do that. And then Catherine was like, ooh, do call him Overbite. Well, look at him. 
he ain't got no overbite he got an underbite so his name is underbite <laughs> and um because i gave him an australian accent before i named him he is down underbite i'm sorry <laughs> All right, that's everything for Memory Hall Vintage. I have two more things, no, I have three more things to show you and then this haul will be done. Um, I have been sitting here for quite a while. Hopefully this video is not super long, but I have been sitting here for a bit. So the next thing I was super excited for, and I know I told y'all before that I've been looking to get a raccoon skull. Well, I got one. We got a little raccoon skull here. It's still in um, rubber bands so I don't lose his jaw because I have plans for him. I don't want to just leave him as a skull. I thrifted this frame. It's just a tiny frame. Um, I'm probably going to paint the frame. I don't even know if I'm really going to use this frame anymore. But I bought it for him and I was going to just kind of make my own assemblage put him in the middle of the frame maybe some moss around it or something I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet but yeah that's the idea right but right now he's just chilling and his little rubber bands on my shelf um, but yes I've got my raccoon skull and it's a really nice skull too in really good condition don't focus on my face um, yeah, it's a nice school in, good, in a good condition. There are some little breaks here, like there's some things that are loose that if I press too hard will probably break off, but for the most part, this is in really good condition. The next piece I got was this. Um, I already have two mink skulls, and these are two more mink skulls, but I just, I just really liked the vase. <laughs> I like the this also. Um, I thought, you know, putting them with the flowers make them kind of look like their flowers or whatever. I thought it was creative and nice. This is fake foliage, um, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just thought they were nice. They're positioned with their mouth open. And the ones I have, I don't even think, they don't even have their bottom jaw. So this one actually is a full mink skull. And yeah, I just thought it was cool. I just really like the vase. The vase is a tooth. <laughs> and yeah, I just thought it was kind of cute. So this is that item. And last but certainly not least, I got a big framed picture here. So uh, this is wild boar vertebrae. I don't, honestly, I don't think they all came from the same boar, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I just really liked it thought it was neat thought it was kind of cheap <laughs> so I bought it so uh, yeah I don't know she's got it's framed really nice we've got moss and some real pine cones I like I like when they can use real foliage and real plants whether they're dried or whatever I know how that can be hard sometimes and I don't mind the fake plants but I just really liked how this one had moss on it and real pine cones and stuff so like, there is this piece well, all right, everybody, that is it for this long haul. Uh, this was a lot of stuff. And like I said, it was from like three markets um, and an anime, not a convention, but an anime market, I guess, also. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you thought about that. And if you like these um, hauls, uh, give me give it a like and comment below that you do so I know that you still like these and I'll continue to do them because I've been sitting here for an hour showing you stuff I already bought that I already had put up on the walls and stuff now I gotta go put it back <laughs> so um yeah, let me know what you think and with that I'll see you next time bye